guys, welcome to Egypt. I'm on a tour here with Gate One, cruising down the Nile right now. We're on a nine day trip, heading from Cairo to Aswan to Abu Simbel to Luxor, then back to Cairo. So I wanted to give you a few facts in case you're taking this similar trip to Egypt, what to expect. So number one is this country, at the beginning of the decade in 2011, there was the Arab Spring here. All right, demonstrators shouting angrily, he's not leaving. Tahrir Square had more than two million people, everyone. In the square, and the streets linked the square, everyone. The big revolution, everyone. Again, it's Mubarak, the Arab Spring. Here, everyone, that is where all action took place. Can you see what they're working out? What they're doing? I think what they're doing something here. But in that spot in particular, most people were shot that in that wow. spot. Crazy. During the Arab Spring, everybody, that is that is February That's 2011. So it this country has faced a very tumultuous decade. A lot of people here, they are on a tour. They are not traveling solo. I haven't seen any solo travelers or independent travelers at all. Everyone is here with a tour. You want to have a guide to point out the facts to you. There is absolutely no way, unless you're an Egyptologist or an archeologist, to know everything about what you're seeing. And our guide has spent years in school studying archeology. span So he knows about the different pharaohs, the gods, the life and times in the past so it's been really great number two is there's a lot of people selling stuff and trying to make a dollar so as you're going to the sites you'll hear people say dollar one dollar take this scarf one dollar i did buy the scarf um but be careful about that because if you show your money or you show interest they will swarm you so just so you know number three is we are here in january so it is chilly it's in the 60s i'm from california so that's cold so that means a jacket scarf long sleeves you do not want to wear shorts here even if you are here in the summer it's not considered acceptable wear also you want to bring no sandals i would recommend shoes covered shoes because the temples have a lot of rocky roads and you could trip and get hurt so be careful where you're walking wear appropriate shoes okay i am boiling some water and that means it's time for our next fact about what to expect when visiting egypt is about the food so egypt has some really delicious food, but you want to be careful about food poisoning here. We haven't eaten at any of the restaurants off the beaten path. We haven't eaten any street food. It is not safe to eat and the water is not safe to drink for uh, travelers. So be sure to drink bottled water. Life here, it's both modern and ancient at the same time. I feel like if you went back in time, you would see a lot of people living the same lifestyle, like fishing, living in simple homes, living a simple life. And then you have modern Cairo, which does have sky rises and some busy modern life, a lot of traffic, things like that. And one of, one of our tour group members said that it's similar to Pennsylvania in that way. You have people living in the past, people living in the present, side by side. Another thing is about safety. So we are on a tour. I do not recommend coming here unless you are on a tour. The reason is because of safety. So our guide is with us at all times. We also have a bodyguard and sometimes even a police escort. Egypt has a tourism police and they are very vigilant and they've been watching over all the sites. Everywhere you go, you have to go through metal detectors and things like that in order to get into the sites. The airports, including domestic, have double security. So you go through the security belt twice. So it's a little bit of a slog to travel like that, but 
it's good to be safe and they're really taking extra precautions there which is great the economy here is very much centered around tourism it's one of their top sectors if not the top sector of the economy here so it's we haven't felt unsafe at all but you do notice people with huge machine guns Another word on safety is do not be alarmed by the guards. They're very prevalent here to protect both you and the ancient sites. Also, Egypt is experiencing a time of peace right now, but do check your U.S. State Department before traveling here. We did notice that walking around, it did feel safe and well lit. And so right now we're crossing through the Nile. We're gonna go see some more temples. We're only on the Nile for three days. It's really nice, this is the relaxing part of the trip, but before today, it was very go, go, go. A lot of early morning flights to get down to Abu Simbel. You can also take a bus to Abu Simbel, but that takes three and a half hours. So if you wanna do a seven hour car ride, you can do the bus, but we opted for the 30 minute flight. Like I said, two security lines both ways, but definitely not to miss Ramses's two temple. It was awesome. So the last thing I want to say about Egypt is it is definitely 100% worth it to come here. It is absolutely incredible. One of the greatest civilizations of all time. Super mysterious, super interesting. You'll love it. We're on the Nile cruise. We are on the Nile cruise. What do you think about Egypt so far? It's cool. We are so happy to be here. We waited so long to be here. Now the tour groups are back and we are here. Woo. I love this. It's a beautiful shot. We were just saying how this country is like a two-speed country. You got folks living in the past and then folks living in the